Oh my god, after like three hours of doing thieving, I got a Pharaoh's Scepter. That's a pretty good one. Wait, how did I get that? I'm pretty sure you're supposed to get them when you loot the golden chests in the middle. I don't think I did. I was just like half AFK thieving. Well, I'm 72 right now, so I still have three levels to go. But dude, this is amazing. Sweet. Good way to start thieving, I guess. You know, actually straight off to getting this Pharaoh's Scepter, I was like, wait. I can use the exoskeleton gear, I haven't used it, I didn't use it from 67 all the way until 72. But then when I got the scepter, I was reminded because I saw someone else use it. But now, this is going to be 75 thieving, if I can just not get screwed over by the snakes here, which... I This might take like 10 years, so I, I really wouldn't know. How much experience do I still need? There you go, 75 thieving. So, this took actually quite some time because I did... Uh, not have that much uh, time to play, but it's fine. Uh, it's now done, so I have 75 in all skills except for farming. And as I said in my last video, I'm not going to really focus on farming. I'm just going to let it be, and then if I level it up, like, casually, that's just how, how it's going to be. Uh, I do kind of need 74 to be able to make, like, prayer renewals and stuff like that. And, you know, that would be really cool to get. Uh, so I might try to do that, but I think the best way I'm going to be leveling, like, farming is just, like, PVM, get seeds, and then also get a seed aside and use that for Slayer. I think that's the best way of doing farming. So, anyways, that is 75 thieving, so another 75 out of the way. So in my last video, I had a lot of people recommending me to do the medium tier 1 diaries, and you know what? I haven't ever done diaries in my entire life, so the reason why I hadn't done it before was because it just wasn't familiar to me. I don't really know how it works. You know, I know you could do it, but I just didn't know how it worked, and I thought it was going to be like the biggest pain in the ass ever. And it might be, I haven't really read into it too much, but I talked to some people in my friend chat, shout out to, for example, Tricky Knight, thank you for the tips. Um, and he just explained how you know it works the easy ones are the green ones and then the medium ones are the red ones and you want to complete first the easy ones and then the medium ones and you can get access to the things you want so uh, i'm also going to get a quiver that i'm not sure how it works i know it gives like a static prayer bonus or something so that might be useful in the future so anyways i'm going to do the easy ones first and i'll show you guys that and then i'll do the medium ones and then i can hunt grenwalls for unlimited uh grenwall spikes so i can make a lot of extreme ranging potions and that's why I wanted to do it so I don't have to waste uh, papaya fruits like I did in the first <laughs> seconds of the last video so let's do this all right so I need to do fairy tales part one and then start part two to be able to get access to fairy rings it is a requirement for the last part of the easy diaries then all the other steps so I only need to do this quest and then I can do the last step and that should be really quick so let's do it Alright, there we go, that's the fairy tale growing pains completed. Really easy, and I got two quest points for it, which was really good. I only need 12 more and I can do while Gothic sleeps, but I think I only need to start the second part and then I will be able to use the fairy rings. Never done this before, so we will have to see, but I think that's how it works. I had to do like the first two minutes of the part two quest, so it was really easy to do. I think this should be the location to be able to finish the easy diaries. Hopefully it's the correct one. Yeah, it was. I didn't fail. Good thing. Uh, so yes, congratulations, you have completed all the easy tasks, and uh, I didn't really read where I'm supposed to claim the reward. Here we go. Uh, is f Okay, I can't pronounce that. There's no way I'm going to pronounce that. Anyways, I'm going to pick up the reward and then I'll start doing the medium ones. Oh, I'm stupid. It was the location called Isfadar whatever. It wasn't the actual guy I wanted to talk to. It's the elf tracker beside the lodestone. So sweet. Uh, I think you get some kind of quiver. Oh, we get an experience lamp as well. I didn't even know that. So yeah, that's the Tirvan quiver uh, one. And then if you do the medium tasks, you get the number two. And if you do the hard one, you get even further than that, I guess, number three. And actually at number three, it's pretty useful. You can actually use it for PVM scenarios. I guess it's pretty good already for just one bonus. So I don't know what's slot it's in oh it's in wait it's instead of my arrows how do i even use any arrows then can i like add them oh ammo that's how you use it all right so let's just check ammo oh you can just maybe add like this all right that's how you do it sweet all right so yeah it's just better like even the one is better because it just gives prey a bonus and you just put the arrows in there that's pretty goddamn sweet let's see what uh, experience i can use i'll just put in 10k it's actually not even bad continue sweet free experience. 
Now this is going to be really interesting and very beneficial for my account. I need to do three quests to be able to finish the last three and the first one here I think this is from oh this is from deadliest catch so I need to do that quest and this one is from prisoner of Glopherine and then this last one is actually from within the light so I'm going to be doing I think within the light first so I can it's, it seems like the most annoying one of all of the three so I'm going to be doing that one first so let's do that and then I can tick off this medium requirement. Well, this is going to make me look really stupid after recording the last clip, but I've already done within the light. Yeah, that's pretty awkward, but all I needed to actually do, because it did say that the achievement was locked, so I was like, yeah, it has to be within the light, but no, I actually have to talk to this girl here, and then, I don't know if I use the seed on her, no, I don't, uh, I have to just talk to her, and then she can make it possible with my seed to teleport to the Temple of Light, and then when I teleport, I will actually finish the parts of it, so anyways, let's see if that's going to be done now, I assume there's a lot of weird stuff here, I can't be arse reading all this, um, so yeah, let's get that done. It should be done now. Yeah, there you go. Temple of Lights. So this should be, uh, the medium diary done. So let's see what happens. Alright, there we go. Enter the Temple of Light. Good thing I didn't have to complete the quest because I've already done it. Now, a quest that I did not actually have completed was the Deadliest Catch, and now I have completed that, and you can see uh, medium tasks here, this is the quest I needed. So anyways, I'm going to talk to Jones, and it's going to be completed. I know you can get, like, access to a fishing spot by doing this, and I think that's actually why I had to do this quest, so let's, um, there we go. Alright, one quest point set, wow, 70k fishing, that's a lot actually, 26k hunter. 8k thieving, alright, so new deposit boxes, oh yeah, never mind, uh, it wasn't a fishing spot that I, I unlocked, it's a deposit box that I could actually use for like teak logs, when I used to cut those for, uh, I can't remember, I think it was just wood cutting experience for Priftanas, I could have done this quest, which, you know, it's a bit late now, but yeah, I could have done it then to get access to a deposit box, I didn't have to drop all the logs and stuff like that, but now I've done this quest, I can do the medium diary, and I did actually level 88 fishing. Sweet, so only two more levels and then, wait actually, is Rocktails 90? I think it is, or it's 92 maybe? Rocktails are... come on, where are they? Oh, there we go. Yeah, 90. So two more levels and I can fish Rocktails. Don't think I can cook them, but, ah, cool to be able to fish them. Alright, so this is going to be the end of the Prisoner of Glofrine quest, and I think I'm going to get actually quite a bunch of experience for this. So yeah, 60k thieving. Okay, I should have done this before I did 75 thieving. Well, I guess it's just towards, you know, 99, I guess. But anyway, 60k agility as well. I think that's a level, actually. Um, but yeah, it's a decent amount of experience and 260 quest points. Oh, construction as well. Uh, so yeah, we need 10 more quest points to be able to do while well, Gothic sleeps. So we're getting there. We're absolutely getting there. But now I have all the requirements to be able to finish the achievement diaries, which uh, has been a big part of this video. So that's going to be great. I only missed this one, and that is exit... Tirvan through the Galarpos Mountains? I'm going to have to read up on what that actually is. So when I squeeze past this plant right here, which is, I, I don't know why I would have to squeeze past this. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Pokemon, like, back in the days, Pokemon Silver, all that kind of good stuff. When there was, like, a Pokemon, you had to have, like, Slice. I can't remember what the name is. You guys can probably remember, like, Cut Something. You had to go past it. It was, like, a small, small tree, and you had to have the ability on a Pokemon to be able to pass it. Even though you could clearly just walk on the left side of it. But anyways... I guess I'll do that, and that is going to be the end of the medium diaries, so we can now get all the things we need. So, I don't need uh, papaya fruits or papaya meats, more accurately, to be able to hunt Grenwalds anymore, which is absolutely the main reason to why I did this. But yeah, we also get the number 2 tier 1 quiver, so we should be able to teleport to just tier 1 here, and talk to the scouts, whatever it is called, and just get that. So let's do that in the same clip. I'm just kidding, we're not gonna do it in the same clip because that's not the guy you wanted to talk to. I went to the elf tracker and I just looked like an absolute idiot. You're supposed to talk to this guy on the medium diaries, so let's do that, and wait. Uh, more, I guess? I wanna talk about the task systems, let's do that, and yeah, there we go. So, the last lamb gave me 10,000 experience. This one gives me, by the way, two prayer bonus, let's equip that. Uh, Alright, so my number one just disappeared. I wonder if the arrows disappeared, check ammo. Alright, nah, they, they stayed, alright, cool. So, how much experience is this going to give me? So, I assume I'm just going to put it in herb lore? 30k, alright, 30k, can it's it the same? Alright, dude, I think I'll actually put this in farming, because I only need 19k to 69. 
And I kind of want that, so let's do that. 30,000 experience, not too bad, 69 farming. Five levels from 2.3k total. We're doing pretty good. A while back, my royal crossbow completely broke. Uh, that was just purely accidental, and when it did happen, I realized you need one of each piece to be able to actually make it work again. So I have three of the pieces. I need the frame, and this is unfortunately not the frame, but... I am actually doing QBD for getting the frame and at the same time get restores because uh, I cannot do Araxor at the moment because I do not have any restores whatsoever and I don't think I have any supplies to be able to make restores. I think it's uh, red spider eggs and I don't actually have any of those currently. I know you can farm them from like the um, Vire Watchers but you know I thought let's just do it this way because then I might have a chance of actually getting a tier 80 weapon to use on Araxor instead of having a 78 so we will have to see what happens but I'll show you guys the highlight drops. Alright, that's not the piece I need but it's uh, 25 charge to when I do get my royal crossbow back which I expect to get really soon. Another one. Another one. Another- wait, that's another piece. Oh, that's not the one I want but I'll take it. So overall, after doing 30 QBD kills, I unfortunately got nothing more than what I showed you guys. I got some runeite or got some standard supplies. I got a rare drop actually of like uh, some rune arrowheads and then earth talismans, but you know, not that interesting, so I didn't even show that. Also got a dragon bone upgrade cake, so I have two of those now, but I, I don't know. They're not used for anything really except just looks, and I don't even have the dragon gear. So overall, it's pretty useless. But look at this, I have eight sites. And two stabilizers, two springs, and zero frames. So unfortunately, my royal crossbow is going to have to stay broken. Some of you guys say you can just use one of these pieces on the broken royal crossbow. Now, if that worked, that would be great, but unfortunately it does not, because if it's completely broken, it just doesn't work. You have to go to the uh, dwarf and you get, give him one of each piece and then he makes it work again. I tried to actually brandish it uh, again, because there's the brandish option, didn't work, I tried it multiple times, did not work. Um, so you can see in the chat, nothing interesting happens, unfortunately. But yeah, uh, th 30 super restores will be enough to do quite a lot of our extra kills. Uh, I do actually have a lot of, as I said, earlier before I did QBD I do have a lot of snapdragons but the problem is the red spiders eggs so if you guys know anything else than like wire watchers to get them really easy let me know but I don't think there is any I could do wire watchers for a while and get some you know super stores that way I might do that the next time but I just wanted to see if we could possibly get the last piece for the royal crossbow so that didn't really work out but for now this is going to be it for this video I do hope you guys did enjoy this it was really cool to get that Pharaoh scepter in the start of the video also we only need 10 more quest points to be able to do while good thick sleeps that is really cool like i really want to do that quest so in the next video i might be trying to get to that point and then maybe i'll do that quest or i'll save it for the next video depends on how much araxor i want to do in the next video because i couldn't really do much in this one so we will have to see how everything turns out but i thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next one guys take care